According to my patients, the only thing worse than not being able to get pregnant is getting pregnant and then having a miscarriage. Some really unfortunate people have miscarriages over and over. Unfortunately, most of the time, testing on these couples does not find a specific cause. Over the last several decades, many, many treatments have been tried in these patients to reduce the chances for miscarriage. Usually, these treatments do not have any solid scientific evidence that show that they work, but people try them anyway because they are are so desperate to have a child. One of these treatments is intravenous immunoglobulin or IVIG. In today's episode of Infertility TV, I will do a deep dive on IVIG for recurrent miscarriage. Stay tuned. What is IVIG? Immunoglobulins are the medical term for antibodies. These are special proteins that help to fight off infections. When immunoglobulins are used as a treatment, they have been purified from the blood of thousands of donors before they are administered directly into the blood through a catheter in your vein. Treatment with IVIG is used for a wide range of severe autoimmune and inflammatory diseases, some of which are life-threatening. In most cases, it is not clear how IVIG works for these diseases. Does IVIG work to reduce the chances of having a miscarriage? Many studies have been performed using IVIG in couples with recurrent miscarriage, but many of them were of very poor quality. The best studies will randomly split couples with recurrent miscarriage into two groups. One group will get IVIG, and the second group will get a placebo, like salt water, also through an IV. Neither the patients nor their doctors will know who is getting the real treatment and who is getting the phony treatment. This type of study is called a placebo-controlled, double-blind, randomized controlled trial. I know, that's a mouthful, right? It's difficult to say, but this kind of study gives us the best quality evidence for whether a treatment works. In this case, if the miscarriage rate is lower for the IVIG group compared to the placebo group, then you have some really good evidence that IVIG is a legit treatment for miscarriage. These studies are difficult to do, and often don't enroll very many patients. In those situations, multiple smaller studies can be analyzed together to get larger numbers. This is known as a meta-analysis. In 2014, this meta-analysis of IVIG studies was performed. It included eight high-quality randomized controlled trials with over 300 women. The results found that IVIG was ineffective. In 2024, another meta-analysis was performed. This time, it included a total of 12 studies with 751 participants. Again, there was no benefit to the use of IVIG for recurrent miscarriage. Our Infertility TV bottom line is this. At the current time, IVIG lacks high quality evidence of effectiveness for recurrent miscarriage. It is a blood product which carries a risk of infection like any blood transfusion. Until high quality evidence shows that it is safe and effective, it should not be used outside of a study protocol. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.